So, the question on everybody's lips or nobody's lips is what is in my bag for the start of the season of 2021? Let's find out. So let's start with the wedges. So last year I had three wedges. I had the Callaway Jaws Raw, uh, the 50, 56, Benta 55, and the 60. They're gone. They are no more gone. And they've been replaced by two wedges. So I've got the pitching wedge in the set. The first wedge is the Titleist Vokey SM8. And this is a 52 degree, it is a 12 bounce full grind. So it's it's there for full shots, basically. That's why I've put the full grind in. Um, I will eventually sort of go out on the course and fit myself into this properly, but I think the full grind is exactly what I want. It's mainly for full shots from like 120 yards. So that is the first one. And the next wedge is the 58 degree mid grind, 10 bounce Cleveland RTX zip core. So irons, irons are, haven't changed. They will change, but they haven't changed for the start of the season. So they are still the Callaway Apex Pro Forged, the 2019 model. There is a new model out. I do need to start testing irons and giving myself a little bit better options and maybe fit myself a little bit better into giving myself more launch. But for the start of the season, the Apex Pro Callaways are in the bag. And I've got these from four to pitching wedge and I've got the Project X 6.5 PXI shaft in. I have loved this shaft this year, um, and it's, the problem is now I think it's giving me too little launch and too little spin. So either we need to crank the lofts on these a little bit, the seven iron is 33 degrees, maybe I need to crank it to 35 and then do that with the rest of the bag as well, or I need to look at something else with a different option, different shafts, um, possibly looking at a ZX5, ZX7 combo, but they are a little bit stronger loft, so I'm possibly just gonna go five to pitching wedge on those, and then possibly put in a third wedge at the bottom end because of the stronger lofts. Um, I think that might work well, but for the time being, it's the Apex Pro forged. Now, before we carry on, just a little bit of admin. So the ultimate bag prize draw is still going on my website. It is linked at the bottom. It is £10 a ticket and there are about a third of the tickets gone so far and that is for a complete full bag um, of Callaway clubs of your choice uh, with the exception of the Epic Forged irons. Other than that, it's completely up to you what you want to do. So if you want to be in with that prize draw, there are two other prize draws on there as well. So do keep checking back because new prize draws will happen. Go and visit my website, look at prize draws on there and get yourself involved i think the winner of that is going to be like one of the happiest people alive and also thank you to everybody who's used the donate section on my website as well for donating to the channel and helping me grow that money is only going to help me get better equipment and make this channel better and there will be the first giveaway at the end of april for those people who have um, done a draw who have donated to help me out. I will use that money to also get prizes just for those people who've donated, so thank you to everyone who's done that. But next club in the bag, <clears throat> hasn't changed again. It's the Srixen ZU85 two iron. Uh, shaft in this is the Dynamic Gold X100. This has been my go-to club this year off the tee. If I'm having a bad driving day, which is normally every day, then this two iron has been just fantastic for me it is an absolute weapon and it just it's like a fairway finder if i'm swinging well it is a complete fairway finder sort of 240 down there it is a great club so this is staining the bag for now um, no plans to change it so having that wedge less in the bottom end means i can carry this all the time now on to the hybrid so the hybrid has changed from the maverick pro and it is now the cleveland halo launcher um, this has become a bit of a point and shoot club for me since I've been testing it in here and done some sort of videos with Dan out on the course. Uh, the shaft in this is just the Miyazaki S-Flex shaft, possibly not the right shaft, but it's performing well, so I've got no plans to change it at the minute. Um, it's a very overrated hybrid. 
never ever gets talked about when people talk about hybrids. We always talk about the big boys, your tailor mains, your Callaways, your Cobras, and all that lot. Never talk about this one. Uh, value for money wise, I don't think there's anything better out there, and more people should be trying clubs like this because it's it's just a point and shoot chuck club. It's pretty much a cheat stick. On to the fairway wood. The fairway wood has changed as well. I had the Maverick Sub Zero last year, um, and I performed pretty well with it. I, I don't even know why I changed it. I think the reason I changed it is I struggle with three wood off the turf, like just off the deck. I really struggle with it. So I have gone for the TSI 2 forward. This is 16 and a half degree forward. Um, it's performed fantastically for me in here. When I've done testing with other fairway woods, this has, has come out on top. It goes just as far as my three wood, except I have the, the confidence to hit this off the ground now. Shaft in this is the Hazardous RDX Smoke 6.5, 70 grams. So it is extra stiff. It is a little bit heavy, but it is, it is just performed perfectly for me and there is no requirement to change it. Um, so I think I will be ordering one of these for myself, possibly change the grip to a mid-size because I've got big hands. This, this standard grip is just a little bit too thin for me. So I'm probably gonna order myself one of these with a mid-size grip, but the fairway wood of choice is the TSI 2 forward. Before we go on to the driver, let's do the putter. I mean, first of all, how good is that putter head cover? Um, this time next year, this time next year, you'll still be doing the same thing. Uh, so putter for me is not gonna change. It is the sink putter. It is the bladed putter. Um, I have putted so well with this, especially within six feet. I've become a little bit of uh, a putting monster within six feet. The confidence is high. Just hit it firm and straight. Uh, this is a custom one. It does have full time, full time written on the uh, on the bottom. That's what Lester used to call me, full time. So we've kept that on there. It has got a KBS putting shaft and it's 34 inches. So it has just performed fantastically for me. Um, so no plans to change that this year at all. Maybe not ever. I mean, I'm going to have to put badly. But uh, yeah, this is a uh, custom built. Check him out on Instagram, Sink Potters, fantastic build quality, um, and just one-off, one-of-a-kind putters. Now then, finally, the big stick. Uh, no surprises. Little cheap plug there, Sunday morning show with Dan. No surprises. It is, of course, the Cleveland HB Launcher Turbo Driver, nine degrees. Now, this shaft is the S-Flexed Miyazaki shaft. I have ordered i've spoke to cleveland and i've asked nicely and they are going to send me this head with a hazardous smoke 6.5 60 gram shaft in because i'm just i do like this shaft i just find it too soft it's only 50 grams it's a little bit too light does perform well but just i just feel like my timing is off with it so i want that heavier shaft in and obviously a little bit of a bigger grip as well because this is ultimately my fitting club, it's my demo club, so um, to have my own one would be ideal. But yeah, performed really well. A lot of people are like, why? Like, how can you cope with the sound? At the end of the day, that's just a minute part of it. It's where the golf ball finishes that matters to me now, not what it sounds like, what it looks like, or anything like that. It's all about performance. And this year, nothing has performed better for me than this. Um, I've not obviously tried the pings yet because they're due to come in. I've not tried the tailor-mades properly yet, but like I think this is just going to take some beating. I think for value for money at £279 as well, and that is with the hazardous smoke shaft. It's not an upcharge. I just think it's an absolute bargain, and it performs just as well, if not better, than some of the others. It is just so underrated. It is unbelievable. So yeah, big stick for me is the Cleveland Launcher HB Turbo. Also on my bag, I have the Bushnell Tour V5. Thank you to Bushnell for supplying this to me through Dan. That is, uh, it's replaced my, I can't remember what it's called now, but it's replaced my other one. Um, it's fantastic. It, it obviously tells you the slope rating. It's, um, it's accurate. So yeah, for me, uh, probably one of the best range finders around. So Bushnell Tour V5 will be helping me find my yardages, that's for sure. And this is the one that you can stick onto a buggy. It's got the magnetic part as well. So yeah, great little addition to the bag. My ball of choice has not changed. It's the Strixon Z Star. Possibly gonna change into the XV when they come in, the new Strixon Z Stars. 
I'm going to test them. Um, so possibly changing into the XV, but I do need to test balls a little bit more. But for the time being, the Swix and Z Start has performed as well as the Pro V1s have for, for me. So it gives me great numbers, it gives me great distance, and it feels fantastic. So for me, the Swix and Z Start is still the ball of choice. And finally, my glove, um, this is a dirty one, is the Swix and Z Cabretta Leather. I just find it the softest glove. Um, I find it comfortable. I don't find that the thumb twists, and some gloves I can find the thumb twists and then the, the stitching gets onto the pad bit. Never found that with these. Um, so yeah, glove is the Strixon Z. And then obviously, finally, clothing that I'll be wearing for 2021. We all know I'm sponsored by Island Green. Um, there they are. So I will be wearing Island Green for the whole of 2021. Um, value for money again, fantastic. Like polo shirts under 20 pound, mid layers, not much above 20, 30 pound. Great quality clothing, and for the money, like you just can't beat it. Um, you're not paying 60, 70 pound for a polo shirt. Uh, the range, the new spring summer range has just come out, which is awesome. Um, I'm hoping to get most of mine come through soon. So yeah, it's um, Island Green will be, be worn by me on every video you see and have, have seen this year. So that's what's in my bag for the start of the season. A little bit of a push. So here at Ashbury, we've currently got 15% off your booking code going. So if anybody does want to book in to Ashbury this year and wants to get 15% off, then do when you phone up or book online, use code GOLF15. That will give you 15% off your booking. There are terms and conditions applied to that, which you will be informed of when you book. Um, but yeah, 15% off your booking this year, you know, with most people not being able to travel to Europe and all that kind of thing. Then come down to Devon, have a round of golf around one of our many courses, uh, six of them in total, and uh, enjoy yourself with all the amenities and facilities we've got here. There is something to do for everybody. So yeah, Golf 15, get yourself 15% off here at Ashbury this year. Right, okay, that's uh, just a little th something to show you what's going in my bag, what you will see in my bag at the start of the year. There will be some changes throughout the year without a shadow of a doubt. Uh, driver probably won't change, forward probably won't change, and hybrid probably won't change, but you will see some changes in the irons um, and possible changes in the wedges, not necessarily the degrees of the wedge, just which wedges I use because these are my demo ones, so I do need to go out there, fit myself properly into those grinds and bounces, but for the time being, that's what I'll be using. If you are liking this channel and this video, please drop this video a like down below. Let's me know you're enjoying the content. If you are new to the channel, please subscribe. And as always, I will see you all on the next video.